Hello, ladies and gentlemen. NASA has just announced that they have delayed for the hundredth time the replacement of the Hubble Telescope, also known as the Next Generation Telescope, also known as the James Webb Space Telescope. It has been delayed from its October 2018 launch to its new date, asterisk, spring of 2019. So, this is one of the first subjects that got me in serious trouble. But since the world is totally falling apart, nobody's getting along, and I'm totally, totally broke right before rent, I don't mind dying. So let's make another James Webb Space Telescope video. And so, while I get to work on that, you guys are going to have to do some homework, and I'm going to catch you up to speed. And we're going to watch an old video I made in July of 2014. Also, Thor News is a publicly funded YouTube channel. If you'd like to support Thor News and keep it up and running, please make a donation, which I'll leave at the top of the comment section. All right, with that, let's check out a little history, and I'll talk about it in the next video, if I'm still alive. All right, peace out. Right now, our best tool for viewing the young universe is the Hubble Space Telescope. Stay cool. I know, yay, right? This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents... There were other people. Why should you be the only one involved? But I am involved. We are all involved. It doesn't matter what I believe. Hit the button, baby. I need your love. Party dance time. I don't know. Okay. The greatest mistake NASA ever made. The legacy time bomb. Basically, in 1996, a Trojan horse was allowed into NASA and has been systematically destroying it ever since. So technically, I gotta let most of the modern NASA people off the hook, asterisk. But what am I talking about? I'm talking about the Next Generation Space Telescope. Or, that's what it was called before a generation passed, and they still hadn't gotten anywhere, so they renamed it the James Webb Space Telescope. Now you could be saying, hey, what's the big deal, man? How could a telescope destroy NASA? Well, lucky for you, this video has just started. And even in this video, we are just going to scratch the surface. I will give you the basic rundown. In 1997, when this was proposed, planned, and put forward, they estimated that the replacement telescope for the Hubble, and originally scheduled to launch in 2007, would cost around a half a billion dollars. As we look at that chart, we can see that the budget continued to grow. Went from a half a billion to the very next year it doubled one billion. Then in 2000, after the budget had tripled to 1.8 billion, the launch got pushed back to 2009. Then in 2002, the budget rose to 2.5 billion and the launch got pushed back to 2010. Then in 2003, the launch got pushed back to 2011. And then in 2005, Launch got pushed back to 2013, and the budget went up again by half a billion dollars. And into 2006, they pushed back the launch date again, and the budget went from $3 billion to $4.5 billion. And then in 2008, the budget went to $5.1 billion. And then in 2010, they pushed the launch back to 2015, 2016, and they said, hey, we're going to need another $1.4 billion. And then in 2010 to 2011, in 2011, they pushed the launch back to 2018 and raised the budget an extra $2.2 billion. And then the next year, 2013, they need an extra $100 million. And now, the discussions I've seen are saying it might launch in 2020. So we are talking about a project that is 100 times over budget. At best, it's going to be 13 years late. And its budget and priority have been devouring everything in its sight. I got noticeably angry, physically upset, when I heard that the stereo cameras were coming down. They monitor our sun, they give us a lot of great, really cool footage. Now, when I saw that the stereo cameras were only intended for two years, and had been up eight, I said, hey, wait, why didn't you guys have replacements ready, new and improved, to go? And then I found out the main reason everything gets cut, and that they're not putting up any new real satellites, is because everything is being funneled into the JWST slush fund. Now, I hate to say that I learned a lesson from Bryson. Bryson was the balloon rapid response 
to Comet Ison. It was like an $11 million balloon. They were going to put up a infrared camera on it and then watch Ison, right? Well, when I looked at the logo, I noted it looked like a guy who'd had a lobotomy and was drooling all over himself. So I basically said, holy crap, this is going to fail. This was built and intended to fail. Like I said, you buy a balloon for $1,000, you buy something that looks like a camera for $1,000, you send up a balloon, which apparently is really hard to do for NASA these days. Then you have a break and you pocket whatever is left over of the $10.9 million. Guess what? It broke. It sucked. It didn't work. And now, what I fear when I saw the design of the JWST look just like an Imperial Destroyer, it's not going to work. Somehow it's going to break, whether in the launch or when they go to unfold stuff. My gut feeling tells me that this is not going to work and it's going to be the death knell of NASA. They will have wasted 20 years and by then I'm guessing $10 billion on a telescope that is intended to look into the Big Bang. They are looking at this thing for red shifting photons. So my issue is not necessarily the money. I really don't care. It's the fact that this thing was supposed to launch seven years ago. And now, it, if it launches in 2020, it will be 13 years late. That is unacceptable on every single level. And in the articles I've read, everybody's pointing fingers. Everybody's talking about, well, we wanted to get like every university involved and every company involved, which means like we wanted everybody to get paid. So this thing has pretty much been a sinkhole. It's stopped tons of programs from being developed. At best, we won't see it for six years. And if you look at the chart that shows NASA's budget compared to the JWST budget, you'll notice that somewhere Congress lost faith in them, which is hilarious when Congress loses faith in you because you spend too much and promise too much. I recognize the irony but who can blame them? What turned out to be kind of like a pet project. Hey, we want to look into the Big Bang because we're obsessed with the Big Bang. Ended up destroying NASA from the inside. Now, if you want to talk about the conspiracy theory that when they knew they wanted space to go private, they slowly started dismantling NASA. So it's probably not their fault. Those NWO efforts are very clever. So that this is always meant to discredit, dishonor, and destroy NASA. Now imagine this. Let's say they spent 23 years on this. They go to put it up and it breaks. How much faith is the world going to lose in you? How much faith is the world going to lose in anything you say? I mean, to this point, the thing looks like a slush fund. A good way to get paid without producing anything verifiable. If you'll notice, they've wheeled out a million different recreations of this thing. They're having parties. They're paying like the guy who's Optimus Prime's voice to come on and talk about it. They're spending money. Like A, this thing isn't 100 times over budget. And B, you're not going to be 13 years late at best. So it's like, you guys now have a worse track record than Congress. And all your shit's breaking, like the epoxy, stereo. You know, it's like Keystone Cops over there. If Keystone Cops made billions of dollars producing nothing. Remember the two main things at Thor News I've been saying is we need to bring back the shuttle and you need to replace the Hubble. And they keep saying, oh, James Webb Space Telescope. Stay cool. Right now, our best tool for viewing the Young Universe is the Hubble Space Telescope. 